the dirt for the new ground alongside some legendary, legendary people. I'm showing you the shovel because I stole it. That's a man move. I stole the shovel. And so there's a developer over there. I think his name is Ronnie. I don't know his last name. And I said, brother, you are aiding and abetting in a crime. And he said, really? What's that? I said, I'm stealing this shovel. You're my witness. He laughed. Swiss Beats, what's up, my brother? That DMX album is legend. As I said that, LL Cool J, my idol, was standing next to me and Nas and LL said, you know what I was thinking? I really want this shovel too. I said, LL, steal the shit with me. And so I'm sitting at the hip hop museum. I take my little brother, UFO Feeve, the rapper with me. I'm jumping all over the place, but you're going to get it. Um, so as we leaving, he says, yo, Joe, you know what I noticed today? I said, what? He said, in the Bronx, around these hip hop legends, you little Joey, you baby Joey. And I looked at him and I said, wow, that's what you noticed? You didn't notice LL Cool J or Nas, the Scarface of... The, 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 the cryptocurrency or Slick Rick, the greatest storyteller hip hop history or Mr. Nessa Grimace. He said, yo, they call you Little Joey. As I pull up, I see Slick Rick, the ruler. I lose my mind. I lose my mind. I see Slick Rick, the ruler. I lose my mind. So I'm like, yo, Rick, what's up? I love you, brother. Oh, my God, brother. Yo, I love you. So I follow him into the thing. His wife, Mandy, good friend. She's like, Joe, we could drive up there. I said, oh, let's go. As I pull up in this beautiful day in New York City, a Maybach pulls up right behind me. The guy jumps out the car and says, yo, Joe. You know I can't be in the Bronx without you. Nasty Nas. Yo, Nas, what's up, baby? You know, and he's like, yo, and then I'm like, he's like, I can't come to the Bronx without you. I said, well, I can't come to the Bronx without him. He sees Slick Rick and loses his mind. And we're both like, oh my God, Slick Rick, yo, yo, yo. It's that type of day. It's that type of day. And so... Nas goes up there. He's so emotional. He's so passionate. He says, the drums come from Africa. And he said it went through the islands. It went to Puerto Rico, the Caribbean. It came to the Bronx. And so, in Africa, they used to communicate through the drums. That's how they talk to each other. To see hip hop come so far, it was a glorious, emotional, but beautiful day. And I'm sitting around and I'm just soaking it all in to know that something that was started 48 years ago right here in the Bronx will have a home. Everybody involved, because there was many, 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 many people involved. Thank you. We can't thank you enough. 